In this video, I'll show you exactly how to root any Nothing phone and unlock its full potential. I'll walk you through the entire process of rooting your Nothing phone from start to finish. We'll cover everything in a structured and easy to follow way, so even if you're doing this for the first time, you won't get lost. So grab your Nothing phone, follow along. As you can see, I'm using the Nothing CMF1 here. It's a great device, but with root access, we can take it to the next level. The first step is enabling developer options. Go to About Phone, open the Nothing card, and then tap on the build number seven times. You'll see a little toast notification saying, you are now a developer. Now go back to the settings main page, open system settings, and you'll find a new developer options menu. Open it and enable both OEM unlocking and USB debugging. These are crucial for the routing process. Before we begin, a quick disclaimer. Rooting your phone will void your warranty, and there's always a small risk involved. Make sure you've backed up all your important data because we'll be wiping the device later in the process. Next, we need to download two important files. The boot image for your specific firmware version and the latest version of Magisk. Open this GitHub repo on your PC and go to the Nothing Archive page. Now scroll down and click on Releases. On this page, you can find all the firmware boot image files for every Nothing phone model. Look for your phone's code name, which you can find in the build number section of your device settings. It is absolutely crucial that you download the boot image file that exactly matches your phone's build number from this repository. As you can see, this matches my phone's build number, which is why I'm downloading it. Using the wrong image could potentially brick your device, so please be careful with this step. I'm using this particular repository for the boot image in this demonstration, but I'll provide links to multiple archives in the video description. This way you can find the exact boot image that matches both your phone version and Android version. After downloading the boot image, we need to download the Magisk app. I will also provide its repository link in the video description. Make sure to always download the release build of the app. Once downloaded, we need to transfer both files to your Nothing phone. Connect your phone to your computer and transfer these files to your device's internal storage. As you can see, I've transferred both files to my phone's download folder. Now this boot image file is an archive, so you have to extract it first. After extracting, you will find multiple files inside. Here comes the tricky part. If this folder contains an init boot file, then you have to patch this file using Magisk. If the folder only contains a boot image file, then you have to patch that instead. I will also provide files and commands for every Nothing Phone model in the video description. Exit from this folder and install the Magisk app. Once installed, open Magisk on your phone and tap on Install. Choose the Select and Patch a File option, navigate to where you extracted the init boot image file and select it. Magisk will patch this file, creating a new file that we'll use for rootin'. Once the patching is complete, you can find this file in your phone's download folder. We need to transfer this patched file back to our PC. I'll be using A to B for this, but you can use any other method that works for you. While the file is being transferred, let me explain that to use A to B, you need to download and install A to B tools and drivers on your PC. I'll include the download links in the video description. Now the file is transferred to my PC. Next, we need to reboot the phone into bootloader mode. Open your terminal or command prompt. Connect your phone to PC using USB cable. First type up AD devices to check if your phone is connected. If you see a serial number, this means your phone is connected. Now type ADB reboot bootloader your phone will restart and enter fast boot mode. This is where things get serious. Once in fast boot mode, type fast boot devices to check if your phone is connected. If you see a serial number, this means your phone is connected. Now it's time to unlock the bootloader. Type fast boot flashing unlock. Your phone will display a warning. Press the volume up button to confirm the bootloader unlocking after pressing the button you will see a message saying the device was unlocked successfully. 
Your phone will reboot into fastboot mode again. Type fastboot reboot once more to boot into the system. Here's where things get a bit tricky. After unlocking, your phone might get stuck in a boot loop. Normally, phones perform a factory reset after unlocking, but this one is stuck. Don't worry, to fix this, we need to force reboot into fast boot mode and manually perform a factory reset. To enter fast boot mode, press and hold the volume up and power button simultaneously. This will take you to this screen. From here, navigate using the volume up button and select fast boot mode using the volume down button. Once back in fast boot, we'll wipe the device data using the fast boot hyphen W command. This command wipes all user data, which is why I emphasized backing up your data at the beginning. Now we can flash the patched init boot image. Type fastboot flash init underscore boot and drag and drop the patched init boot image file that we transferred. Once done, reboot your phone using the fast boot reboot command. While this phone is booting, I have something to share with you. In this phone, I flash the init boot in one slot. If your phone has two slots, then you have to flash the init boot image in both slots. Now you might be wondering how to know if your phone has slots. To find out, connect your phone in fast boot mode and Type the command fastboot get var all. It will list all the fastboot details of your phone. As you can see, it is showing two slots. In this case, use these commands to flash the boot image in both slots. Your phone will restart and take a little longer than usual for the first boot. Once it's up and running, complete the initial setup process. You will find a placeholder for the Magix app. Clicking on it will download a fresh copy of the Magix app. Once done, open the Magix app, and if it asks for additional setup, reboot your phone. One more thing, you have to bypass the boot screen warning by pressing the power button every time you reboot your phone. Once your phone has booted, open the Magisk app and voila! You should see that everything is properly installed and your device is now rooted. And there you have it. Your Nothing phone is now rooted, giving you full control over your device. You can now install modules, customize your system, and much more. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Drop a comment if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to help you out.